the UK does Thai style. Plus I'm drunk 50 baht guys. <laughs> Where it all went wrong eh? <laughs> <laughs> we got it on camera! <laughs> We are on and Philippa. Join our family as we seek out the ever elusive slow life on our trips home to Thailand, around the UK and beyond. After the stars align to bring us together in Surin, Northeast Thailand, my hometown, and the place of my first English teaching job. We live together in Bangkok, Khao Yai, and Phuket. Before heading back to the UK, with a year in Catalonia, Spain, on the way. As a Thai native and ex-expat with two young children, will we ever find a slow life? Come along on our unique, often bizarre, but always authentic adventures to find out. Good morning guys! We are going to Thai festival in Basing Stock. Lovely weather, sunny day, and we will show you about Thai festival in UK. Now the UK does Thai style. Yeah. We we'll see what they have. Food. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Is it video? I don't know. Check the Yeah, it is. Must play. Ha! Boy, thank you, Ianya. Hi. We have so many videos of us just um looking at my Welcome to our first vlog in the UK. And today we're oh, taking you to a Thai festival in Basingstoke. Can you can see the back, please. Okay, yeah, you can show your back. Okay, good to go. Good to go, sir. Thank you for the cooperation. <laughs> It's one of many Thai festivals hosted throughout the UK by Magic of Thailand. From Portsmouth to Manchester, there are 10 locations offering the taste of Thailand on your doorstep. It boasts Thai culture, Thai food, arts and crafts, Muay Thai demonstrations, music and dance performances, Thai massage competitions, a Thai beer garden and lots more. So, how much of that did we see and what did we make of it?
to power it. First prize is return flights to Thailand. <laughs> you like the cucumber? Yeah, do you want to try some of this? Can I try a bite? No, you only got one spice. That's lovely. I will in a minute. Yeah, there seems to be lots of snack food here, snack Thai food. Appeal to the English audiences. Okay, yeah, good plan. Fish cake, right? Mm -hmm.
from Mui. Oh. From Sura. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> we got it on camera. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here today with my sister and my brother-in-law, Becca and Ashley. Okay, and let's just go around the back. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. No, not too much. Are you ready? No. Lots of food, lots for the kids to do. It's a really good day out. And it costs five pounds per adult, um, which is definitely the cheapest thing you're gonna buy here. We're about to take Jasper on the bouncy castle. And then maybe watch some Thai dance later. The look chin was very delicious and oh, enjoyed by all my family. Owen's not met anyone he knows yet. No. Waiting for that. I think you're too early. We are here early to be fair, but it's a hot day. So it's best time for it. Okay, let's bounce. It got busier as it got hotter. It's like 250 baht, guys. I think it works. Yeah. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Just beyond the hottest part of the day, with little ones' well beings to consider, we called it a day on the fiery heat of the Thai festival and sought out the shade of other areas in the beautiful War Memorial Park. 
We loved everything the festival brought to the UK, especially the food, the music and the unique touches like the tuk-tuk. We didn't stay long enough to see some of the competitions or Thai boxing oh, sadly as it was just too hot. We felt it was marred ever so slightly by the more British funfair elements but appreciate not everyone wants an exclusively Thai style day. Just us. Ha! Huh. What do you think? Have you been to any cultural festivals in the UK? Join the conversation in the comments and we'll see you on the next one. Very good event really. And it's all for free. It's beautiful. So beautiful.